On April 25, 2015, Nepal was struck by a massive earthquake of 7.8 magnitude. As a result, nearly 9,000 people lost their lives, while nearly 22,000 were injured and millions displaced. This was one of the worst natural disasters in the nation's history. Muchuk, a tiny village in Gorkha district, just five kilometers away from Barpak, the epicenter, was devastated by the earthquake. The post-disaster needs assessment report by the government has categorized Muchuk as an A-level VDC, which indicated complete damage of infrastructure and livelihood. Almost all of the houses were completely destroyed in the disaster. Food grains worth about Nepalese rupees 20 million were buried and lost. Basic services such as schools, health services, drinking water supply and irrigation canals were disrupted, exposing people towards extreme vulnerability. Rudramaya Nepadi was working in the fields when the disaster struck. She and her family were unharmed, but they lost everything they owned. Their house was completely destroyed. The family's dairy cattle, which provided them with important source of income, was also killed in the disaster. Their future seemed uncertain. On October 2015, IM, in partnership with Made Nepal, launched the Muchok Recovery Project in order to restore livelihoods and support schools for quality education in the village. The project in coordination with District Livestock Service provided Rudramaya with improved goat management training where she learned to raise goats and earn additional income. She also received two goats. Her flock size is gradually increasing. The family plans to take up goat farming in a larger scale to supplement their family income. <laughs> The project also supported in building farmers' technical skills to engage in commercial farming. After receiving the training on cash crop farming for vegetables and cash crop, along with its saplings, they have started to grow cardamom, coffee and vegetables in the land with plans to sell them commercially. Improved seeds were provided to farmers for kitchen garden resulting in lush green vegetables. They not only consume them every day but also sell them adding to their family income. <laughs> A vegetable collection center was built to help farmers store and sell in bulk. This will help farmers to connect to the market so that they can easily sell their products. A resilient structure of collection center was built using climate-friendly technology. For skill building and small enterprises, Dhaka Kapada, a local fabric weaving training, was provided to the women. As a result, the community members have gained technical skill through which they can support their livelihood. The project has also worked on reviving irrigation schemes that were destroyed during the earthquake. Irrigation is the lifeline for agricultural productivity. With irrigation canals destroyed, the farmers were producing barely enough to support the families. The irrigation and water schemes were built transparently by mobilizing the users' committees. Today, the revived schemes has increased farmers' access to irrigation services and increased their agricultural productivity. Cultivation has resumed in full scale and the farmers are expecting better yields. 
खेती पाती रु बढ़ देगा था राम रोचा तार कार्य रु बाली नाने ये धाने पनी हम रो धान गांव तोरी मकई आदि आदि खेती रु सब ये हमने राम रो देता सर Water supply schemes were also repaired, leading to access of safe drinking water to the residents of the village. Bigad ma line ma goyra patak patak yarnu parni, toot toot bhai ka aja hai, paay paru jonnu parni. Tio yathaot samasya thiyo bani. Oily tio samasya baato. Ami mukta bhai ka chhau. Paila dere samasya thiyo. Bhukam le tiya ko pani, yaha ko pani lagay thiyo. Amla yeser nee meet ne parle. Amla dinu bhai ho. Amle banaim sabai milera. Public hearing program for each of these schemes have been conducted, ensuring social responsibility and accountability of the users' committee towards the community. The project supported six government schools to improve their quality of education. They were supported with quality teaching learning materials along with equipments for science lab, computer, books and materials for library, furniture and sports materials. This has benefited students with enhanced teaching learning environment. पढ़ाई प्रति उत्सुकता उन्हें हरुमत देखना पाई है कोशिश है जैसे लगा कि पढ़ाई मानी चाहिए कि इस ऐसी कुलस्तर बन चाहिए सुधार भाई को पाएं चाह। इतनी सामन हो लाये हमने जो सरी प्रोजेक्ट करी रहा अन्य आइले को मॉडल न्यू करी कुछ तो सही ना हम इसको लागी सोचिले अब यूट्यूब बट डाउनलोड करी रखी आवश्यक है इस अब अधिन कोई क्रम में कि आवश्यक सब बने पने आमी आनंद रही है ना सोचो है ना। The teachers are expecting better results as the students got chance to learn by doing practical classes on science and computer. The project. Coordinated with the government offices and authorities, and sought their support and cooperation whenever required. I am today Jilla Bika Samitile, Suruma Wangarlai, Anumati, Bitama Anugaman, Nirichan, or Vivinna Verama, Avalo Company, Garakasam. Today, our Thaniye Basi Aruko, Dharana Pini, Swastale Ramro Kam Garakosa, Hamro today, Jipi Ko Parthen Sangha, Sammandit Gati Bidhi Aruma, Shoyak Garakosa, Bani Tha. Today, Muchuk residents are on their way towards rebuilding their lives. The project has been instrumental in supporting the people to regain normalcy in their lives. The capacity of groups, users, committees and coordination committee has increased. The women have started leading the groups and committees. Leaving behind the painful memory of the earthquake, they are working towards building a new future.